Hello everyone, welcome to the online classes, chapter number one that is number. In our pre previous class, you have already read four digit number. Now today we will start from five digit number. The four digit smallest number that is 1000. And the largest four digit number is that is 9999. And if we add nine, one number in 9999, then it will be 10,000. This is tens, ones, tens, hundred, thousand, and that is 10,000. Okay. In previous class, we have learned number up to four digit. We know that the smallest four digit number is 1000. The largest four digit number is 9999. On adding one in 9999, we get 10,000. The smallest five digit number. This is ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. You can see 1000, 10 hundred, 10 tens and 10 ones. This is 10,000 one. Next, forming numbers. You can see ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. 1000, that is 10,000. Move to the next slide. Complete the table. Students, you have to expand it the numbers. Expand it means you have to divide the numbers in expanded form. Let's start. First has been done for you. We move to the next part. This is ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. How many five? Then tens, then hundred, then thousand then ten thousand we will read ninety four thousand three hundred forty five we have to write this in words also ninety four thousand Three hundred forty five. Next, that is eighty thousand twenty four. Ones, then tens, then hundred. Thousand, then ten thousand. We will read it eighty thousand twenty four. Eighty thousand twenty four. Move to the next one. This is ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, then ten thousand. We will read it ninety thousand three hundred twenty one. We have to write in words. Ninety thousand three hundred twenty one move to the next one eighty five thousand three hundred forty one this is ones tens Hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Ones, 
tens, hundred, thousand, then ten thousand. 85,341 Move to the next one Place value of the numbers. Now we have to understand place value of numbers. Let's start. This is ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. In ones only one digit and in tens there is only one zero. In hundred there are two zeros. In thousand there are three zeros. And in 10,000, there are four zeros. Understand, students? Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Move to the next one. Now, place value of zero is always zero. Students, one more important thing. Place value of zero is always zero. Zero ki jo bhi place value hogi, wo kya hogi? Zero. Let's start. This is 85,240. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. You can see ones, tens, hundred, thousand, and this is ten thousand. Understand students? It ones ki one, tens ki forty, hundred ki two hundred, five ki five thousand, and eight that is eighty thousand. Move to the next exercise. Write the place value of encircled digit for the following numbers. Students, there are some digits. We have to tell the place value of encircled digit. Let's start. First one. One stands hundred. This is six hundred. We have to write here. Six hundred. Next. One stands hundred thousand. We will write here four thousand. Next, ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. We will write here ten thousand. That is fifty thousand. Next, we have to tell place value of four. Ones, tens. We will write here forty. Next, we have to tell the place value of five. Ones, tens, hundred. We will write here five hundred. Next, we have to tell the place value of 6. That is 60. Move to the next one. We have to tell place value of 46,549. This is 1s, then 10s, then 100, then 1000. Then 10,000. That is 46,549. Next, move to the next one. 98,054. We will write here ones, then tens, then hundred. Abhi mein aapko bachaya, zero is always zero. Then thousand, that is 8,000. Then 90,000. 98,054. Move to the next one. Ones. Then tens. 
then hundred, then thousand, then four six thousand. That is ten thousand sixty four thousand three hundred twenty. Move to the next one zero tens ones tens hundred thousand then ten thousand. हम इसे कैसे read करेंगे ten thousand. Move to the next one ones tens. Hundred thousand and then ten thousand. That is twenty three thousand four hundred five. Understand, students? You have to do this in your maths notebook. Move to the next one. Okay. Compare the following by using greater than and less than and equals to sign. We have to compare. Let's start. Four thousand five hundred five and this is sixty seven thousand nine hundred forty three. Which one is the greater digit? Sixty seven thousand nine hundred forty three. Move to the next one. Nine thousand four hundred fifty six. Nine thousand four hundred fifty six. The both digits are equal. We put here equal to sign. Move to the next one. Eighty four thousand three hundred forty five. Eighty thousand forty three. Which one is the bigger? Eighty four thousand three hundred forty five. Move to the next one. Fifty four thousand three hundred ninety. Ninety-five thousand four hundred thirty. Which one is the bigger? Ninety-five thousand four hundred thirty. Move to the next one. Sixty-seven thousand eight hundred forty-five. Eighty-four thousand three hundred forty-five. You can see which one is the bigger? Eighty-four thousand three hundred forty-five. Move to the next one. Eight ninety-eight thousand four hundred fifty. And ninety eight thousand four hundred fifty. They both are the equal. We put the equals to sign. Now ascending order. It means what is the ascending order? Smallest to greater number. It means chote se bada. Smallest to greatest. Understand, students? And what is the descending? It means greatest to smallest. बड़े से छोटा. Greatest to smallest. Understand, students? Let's start with the exercise. For example, this is seventeen, nineteen. Twenty and twenty-two. We have to write in descending order. Twenty-two, then twenty, nineteen, then seventeen. You can see in this example, this is four digits examples, five digit, eighty-six thousand three hundred fifty-two. Then eighty-five thousand two hundred thirty-five. Then eighty-two thousand four hundred thirty-one. Then Eighty thousand three two hundred forty three. Understand, student? Now, in our next video, we will start from the exercise. That's all for today. Thank you, students.